This video was brought to you by Yamaha Proven Off-Road ATVs and Side-by-Side -side Vehicles. Hi, I'm AJ, this is Ryan, we're with Aces and Arrows Archery, and uh, we kind of have a little unique uh, release system that Ryan uses to shoot uh, to a, a very high degree. Uh, Ryan? All right, so this is our custom-made release here. This is made by AJ, all the leather working and all the sewing. So basically, as you can see, we took a true ball um, release here, kind of cannibalized two different releases so that when I can, so I'll show you, when I can pull back, this is loose and this, my wrist can go right here. And this is adjustable here. And let me just show you how it works here. Yeah, normal D loop's a little easier for him to loop in there and shoot. So, because I have movement here, I have a lot more flexibility. So, this is probably version, what, four or five? Yeah, yeah, about, I think, 4.0, something like mm -hmm. that. We started with this uh, chin strap, chin, uh, chin strap, uh, uh, or chin bar mm -hmm. release from True Ball. Um, that just kind of didn't give us the level of accuracy and repeatability that we wanted uh, because the string gets put so much far forward uh, over Ryan's face. We weren't able to get, you know, a traditional string anchor uh, like you would normally do when you're, you're shooting a target bow or, or a hunting bow. And uh, we didn't want Ryan to shoot just good for having a disability. We wanted him to shoot good, period. Um, so we kept tinkering. Um, and I think, I think this probably frustrated me more than Ryan, like watching him, uh, shoot like that. So I just got to work. Um, we came up with a, a strap like this that hooked up to another release. Um, this is from 1.0 and, uh, he, you know, this bears all the weight of the bow. So it, it goes up high on, on his collar, kind of where you would put a cuff for your blood pressure. And then when he's drawing back, all the tension is on this part. And, you know, the, the good thing is, is when you're doing that, you're drawing a bow, like, absolutely correct. You know, you, you have to use all your back muscles. Your form is, is pretty good. So uh, that was pretty easy. And then all we had to do was figure out a way to, to put some kind of a release mechanism into the right place and make sure that release mechanism went to the right place every time because Ryan doesn't have the digits to manipulate a release. So any kind of swiveling or or action like that that you find on 99% of releases out there uh, was kind of detrimental. So we just had to figure out a way to seize that in the right place so that it's, it's repeatable 100 times over and over and over again. Um, so that's about it. And this, this the forward strap mm -hmm. just helps to hold everything in the right place. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll uh, take it outside, show you how it works on a real bow.